The next morning, Jan is exhausted. Start getting ready for... carried on a conversation with this invisible playmate. It was, you want to play? No, I don't want to play with that. No, let's not do that. And he was hearing something and responding to it. Cody, uh, who are you playing with? I'm playing with man. Well, tell your little friend bye-bye and come get dressed. I don't want to. Cody, you come get dressed now. Cody Foster, you listen to your mama. Pick those clothes up the floor right now and get dressed or we're going to have a big time out, young man. This friend was becoming a daily event. Cody has an imaginary friend. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Well, that's kind of normal. What's his name? Mm -hmm. How long have you been there, Cody? Listen, sit down. It's time to eat your breakfast. Have some cereal. I'm not hungry. I want to play with man. I thought, well, this is basic behavior. We tried to correct him with verbal correction. But it didn't work. Cody, listen to me. Eat your cereal. No! Cody! No! Cody! No! Get in the chair. No! Get in the chair. No! Cody! No! No! I really felt like we needed to hear the whole story about this imaginary friend. So tell us more about your new friend, Cody. How old is he? He's six. He tells them that man has brown hair, brown eyes, and pale skin. Where'd he come from, Cody? We asked him where man came from. He replied, from behind the park where the lake is, deep in the ground. Did something happen to man, Cody? said that a stranger took him from his mommy and did terrible, terrible things to him. And he cried and he cried and screamed for his mommy, but his mommy never found him. And uh, he never saw his mommy again. It's a chilling story. A parent's worst nightmare. Jan and Dale try to understand what he is telling them. Man dead, Cody? Yes. 